Hi, my name is Nikita and this video is about controlling dynamics. Uh, as much as we love chaos, sometimes it just needs to be contained, especially if you have a story to tell. And these are our attempts to control dynamics. So the first thing is cloth. Uh, what can you do with it? You can do a galaxy. Uh, here is a test render of our galaxy and it's basically just cloth. And it works like this, you have a torus at the back, torus at the front and a couple of uh, spheres that are colliding with the cloth and pushing and rotating it. And then the camera comes in to the galaxy and it takes the shot. So um, yeah, in the end it kind of, kind of breaks. Another thing you can do with cloth is a uh, tip of a cigarette. Uh, and all movement here is done without any force fields. Uh, the moving noise basically happens because the cloth sim is unsure what to do with the sim scale. Um, here we have cloth uh, that is actually using the integrated wind and turbulence and it lands on Ugly's head. <laughs> and uh, this thing on the right is gonna pull him so that he's gonna roll on his back and now he's gonna say something, there's gonna be a collider there moving his tongue. Another thing um, which is difficult with dynamics is uh, when you have different systems. So here we have uh, rigid bodies, spline dynamics and uh, cloth dynamics. And when you have everything combined, it is a bit difficult to hook them up, but uh, you kind of find workarounds. For example, they are not hanging on the spline there, but the spline is actually hanging on the cloth and uh, it follows its movement. So the wires are actually fake. Here we have flies that are actually following uh, this attractor and we have force fields around them that uh, are sending them into all sorts of places and they can land on things because they have a lot of friction. Here is our tornado setup. It's uh, a bit more difficult to control, especially if you try to make uh, the leaves fly in a certain way. Uh, it needs a bit of practice uh, since uh, you need to hit the right combination of keys in just the right time uh, but sometimes it works and uh, it's actually quite fun and if you remember our camera operator here he's filming the whole thing he is a bit of a stupid uh, shaky cam setup so if you move the guy like <laughs> maybe getting low there really low shot he is a very busy man, although he doesn't uh, seem very busy here. He takes his time. Here he's filming our drone operator. Uh, he doesn't have such a happy life. And um, yeah, he's still, I think he's still fine. Uh, about, about the drone, which is lying there, you can uh, control it. Uh, with motors and uh, you have basically four motors that are controlling four, uh, four propellers and uh, if you want to change direction or if you want to elevate or if you want to get down then you just uh, change the speed of the motor so for example if you want to go to the right you have to accelerate the motors on the left and uh, vice versa if you want to have to if you have to go to the left if you have to go down, obviously you have to uh, lower the speed. And here I try to land the drone. Yeah, super. Uh, if you have motors, then uh, you can do uh, a low riding car. Uh, here is our Citroen and it can even drive. And um, I would like to do a racing track for this one. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult to work on a film and you have so many things to play with, so it's another challenge on this project, but I try to stay focused. Um, maybe after the whole thing is done, I will do one. It's a bit like, I don't know, becoming a, a kid again and do stuff, do stupid things. Here's break dancing. Uh, so yeah, if you remember our motorcycle from the early dynamics video, then it didn't go far, it just went until the end of the frame. This one is an upgrade, it goes quite far, so we had to bring in a bit of a challenge, made this half pipe, and uh, then it 
yeah, our camera guy focusing everything. Um, not quite as spectacular, but I think it's quite an achievement still, is our bicycle, which is now going forward. Before that, it was just still... Uh, and there's a motor driving the feet and uh, and the bicycle, and and it kind of goes around the corner a bit different than a motorcycle because of the different speed and uh, it's still a work in progress uh, and it's it's quite fun i think it's um, more fun than a motorcycle actually even though it's slower the next obvious thing was to actually hook, hook up um, playstation 2 controllers and i have to say it's very unnecessary to hook up controllers to your 3d software it's not a console but um, yeah, we had to do it anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write down what we used for that because some people ask. It's uh, Motion Enjoy and Control 4D and uh, I'll write it down. Here, our Lada also controlled with uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, yes, so I think that's it for now. If you enjoy what we do, then uh, you can see some more experiments uh, if you click on the links below. Um, and um, yeah, thank you for watching.